Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session 16 September 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signals, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and understand exactly uh, what is happening with the US markets at present and uh, the impact that it had on the European markets today. Okay, now in terms of the market close, market stats, as we all know, Asian markets, majority of them obviously closed. We did have the Nikkei higher overnight uh, in, the, uh, in the Asian session, so the Nikkei was up 0.7%. Now, we certainly have a weakness in um, the European market. So the FTSE was certainly down. The German DAX was down. The French CAC uh, certainly finishing lower. OK, that was due to multiple reasons. Now, number one, obviously, Deutsche Bank. And uh, we certainly are Monte Depache. So banking sector certainly under pressure with this potential fine. Uh, OK, that's been levied. And again, banking sector back under the uh, spotlight. Now, we also had um, inflation data on the in, from the U.S., coming in stronger than expected whilst our weekly average earnings uh, certainly disposable income coming in on the weaker side so again cause for concern so it certainly is doesn't bode well now we've had michigan consumer sentiment as well coming in negative we've had the oil rig count coming stronger uh, as well more more rigs online therefore obviously putting exerting more pressure on the uh, price of oil now again all all these factors together again adding to the bearish uh, indication on the actual markets themselves. Now, European markets really were only other than labor costs, which weren't exactly strong. So again, if inflation numbers come out stronger, given the fact that yesterday, uh, the stock markets rose in the back of weaker economic data, retail sales obviously lower, and now obviously inflation data coming in stronger than expected. And given the fact that the markets or Fed's focus is inflation, that certainly does put their potential uh, rate hike uh, a cycle, uh, not well, not into jeopardy, but certainly keeps it alive. So again, given the fact that the are ended up in the blackout period, it's going to be interesting as to uh, how the markets understand and interpret price action. Now, talking about price action, let's look at the actual German DAX first and foremost. Let's bring up the daily chart, given the fact that it was triple witching, a lot of volatility today. Uh, the daily chart of the German DAX again remains vulnerable, given the, even with the euro dropping to the 1.16 level, uh, German DAX certainly remains vulnerable to the potential support below. Okay, so again, given the fact that we had Deutsche Bank concerns, uh, again, credit concerns, uh, certainly uh, given the fact that last time we certainly were under immense pressure. Uh, let's just bring up the uh, German banking sector. You can see here the banking sector solely leading the sell off today. Uh, if I bring up the daily chart, the German banking stocks, again, certainly looks like they want to go lower again. We do have an unfilled gap that needs to close below. So again, watch out for that potential gap, folks. OK, so that gap certainly is uh, uh, in play. OK, so again, and also given the fact that uh, the Apple rally certainly does look like it's run out of steam. OK, so again, German DAX under pressure due to the banking sector. So again, looking at potential support. So certainly some way to go before we actually do come into support for the German banking sector. So again, all eyes on the banking stocks with regards to European indices. So if you move back to the actual daily chart, you can see that given the fact that the banking sector isn't into support yet, the German DAX certainly will remain under pressure. Now, we also had some bearish comments from the French president. Risk of euro collapse, end of Schengen, real risk of uh, dislocation facing the euro. So again, certainly uh, adding further fuel to the fire. And we also had Mr. ECB Jasberg, I think his name was, uh, also indicating that there's uh, no need to change monetary policy, i.e. Yeah, no more additional QE. We're talking against further QE, given the fact that the current setup is working just fine. So again, negative comments with regards to QE do never um, look look good for the uh, the actual uh, index uh, or equities themselves. Now, German DAX certainly has broken that uh, key support zone. Okay, it is put uh, currently into that pivot S3 support, although there is a potential unfilled gap that needs to close at 10,170. So again, markets certainly remain vulnerable to that gap being closed. Okay, now let's look at the French CAC. Now let's go to the daily chart of the French CAC. Again, you are into horizontal support in the French CAC. If that support were to go, then the next support is seen below at 4,190. So certainly some way to go below in terms of the European indices. Okay, let's look at the 60-minute chart, the French CAC. Uh, again, uh, we did actually close the gaps below. So there was a gap here that needed to close at uh, 4,347. That certainly did close. And then the next gap that needed to close was uh, at uh, 4,320. That certainly closed. So 
certainly vulnerable to the price action moving lower again uh, one could argue that you are looking for a potential bounce in european stocks now again it all hinges on u.s markets u.s markets uh, stronger inflation weaker average uh, weekly earnings certainly doesn't but uh, it isn't a uh, good uh, shall we say good uh, formula for markets to rally so again we are in a conundrum where you are seeing this diversion between us and european indices now the FTSE 100 uh, now so let's start off the daily chart you're still you're still potentially gunning for that hns target folks so again watch out for this right shoulder and keep an eye out for a potential flush below 60 minute chart we have held the potential support at 6660 uh, the bounces thus far have been weak we did have an inverted head and shoulders formation the 10 minute chart that certainly failed to uh, transpire the pivot high 6735 we've had a high of 6745 in the morning okay so for now all we're doing is potentially connecting the the, the actual uh, uh, diagonal trend lines okay so again watch out for this trend line here just connecting them together in terms of support if that breaks then you are looking at uh, 6670 again 6660 again now oil prices are languishing below 43 that doesn't look good in terms of oil especially with the rig counts now as well and oil prices certainly remain vulnerable in the daily chart is here if that were to crack then you are looking at 41 uh, as the potential next uh, zone to watch for the price of oil so certainly keep an eye on that in terms of oil and the next potential uh, target on the uh, downside folks okay all right okay in terms of the uh, euro stocks now let's bring the euro stocks the last potential indices okay here we go so euro stocks you certainly seem to be making lower lows lower highs that certainly seems to be a theme daily chart has actually broken the key support level the next ideal support zone is seen at uh, 2900 on the euro stocks now given the Deutsche Bank concerns given the credit concerns okay that certainly seems to be um, uh, obviously and given the fact the lack of QE as well uh, hawkish rhetoric even though euro is down at the moment hawkish rhetoric okay and no further stimulus seen at present from Mr Draghi or any of his cronies so for now you're looking at lower lows and lower highs okay and you do have an unfilled gap below on the euro stocks at 2910 that certainly needs to close so all eyes on that 2910 uh, potential gap fill below and then you have support at 2900 as well so you have this bear flag formation that's currently brewing okay and the euro stocks into the close no real reason or catalyst to buy the euro stocks at present except the uh, weaker euro although having said that the euro now is actually into support as well so if we bring up the chart the euro you can see the daily chart we're back into that support zone the euro and euro certainly need it is is prone for a bounce here okay certainly looking for a bounce here on the euro at the 1150 level 1140 level 1160 level we're certainly looking for a move higher in the euro and again we all know when the euro goes higher european equities certainly come under pressure and therefore start to move lower so again keep an eye out for that okay that certainly is uh, an area or zone that we need to uh, look out for okay folks in terms of uh, the markets themselves okay so that certainly seems to be the uh, the actual um, current uh, situation in terms of euro usd okay right folks uh, i think that's a good summation then in terms of what happens next let me just quickly give you an insight on the us markets now my bias currently is bearish on the nasdaq we certainly have held gap fills thus far okay so technically so far so good uh, given the fact that you've had stronger inflation weaker average earnings again you are looking for a potential hns formation on the nasdaq left shoulder here okay we've certainly made the head okay we've come back we've made we've made this right shoulder and now starting to move lower so looking for hns target of pivot high 4826 uh 4796 so you're looking at 4776 so looking at 47770 zone 4770 on the uh, the actual nasdaq itself and the daily chart certainly shows that you've obviously closed the gap now you're into resistance on the nasdaq and looking to test that 4770 zone below okay so certainly looking for a risk aversion trade okay no real catalyst to propel this market higher especially given the fact that commodities are weak okay certainly commodities are weak here uh, given the fact that uh, again uncertainty going forward with regards to boj next week uh, we have this trump election uh, certainly uh, mr trump certainly gaining power uh, we see uh, miss Ye well not yellen but his adversary certainly is in trouble in terms of her health so again a lot of uncertainties going forward so uh, how we are we going to break to new highs in nasdaq certainly very unlikely very unlikely un un unrealistic 
especially with the uh, likes of Apple now into resistance as well. Uh, Facebook, Amazon, Google, Netflix, etc., all into resistance as well. So certainly looking for exhaustion. Okay, folks. On that note, be sure.